Hey guys, it's Candice and in today's QuickBooks Tips and Tricks, I want to give you an updated newest versions of QuickBooks with Gmail. So in my previous videos, you had to create an app application password and use that every time. They've updated it, they've changed it. So if you don't have this feature, update your QuickBooks, see if you get it. Otherwise, I will put a link up above to the right on the previous, e the previous way to send your email. So you're going to go to under Edit, Preferences, and you're going to go down under Send Forms. Now, if you have already have your emails going out, you're going to see your email address here. What you're going to do is you're going to click Edit, Use Enhanced Security Recommended Checkmarked. To be able to use this feature, you're going to have to have that marked. And what's going to happen is you're going to, once you click OK, you're going to log into Intuit's password. And you're going to have to put in your username and password with Intuit to verify who you are. Then you're going to log into your Gmail account, verify who you are. If you have a two-step verification, they're going to send you a text message and verify it. So let me show you what that looks like, okay? If you don't, I'm going to delete this and we're going to start from kind of scratch. It will give you the exact same example. So if you're brand new and you don't have an email set up, you're going to choose webmail, click add. You're going to type in the email address that you want to send your emails from. Drop down. Now you can choose Gmail, Yahoo, Outlook, Hotmail, Live, Others. Others is going to be if you're using your website and you're sending emails out. So you have a domain name, you have your emails are set somewhere. If you click other, you're going to need to know the information for your server, your port, all that kind of stuff. In this example, I'm going to show you Gmail. So you're going to go ahead and click on Gmail. You'll notice if you click on Yahoo, they don't require verification, but if you use Outlook, they also require verification. All right. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. Now I've already went through the process and, it, and I can't figure out a way I tried to show you exactly what you have to do with Intuit. But what you have to do is you just log in. You'll see that screen pop up. They'll send Intuit will send you a verification either to your email or your cell phone. You put that code in, then it's going to take you here to your webmail authorization. So because I'm in Gmail, my Gmail comes up. I'm going to make sure your email address or however you log in, your phone number or email is there. You're going to click next. You are going to need to know your password. Type that in and click next. Now I have two-step verification on my email accounts. So as soon as mine comes through, I'll put that code in. Once you receive your code, you go ahead and type that in. This is only going to happen if you have um, two-step verification. Then you're going to have to click next. You do have to allow QuickBooks to read, send, or delete, manage your emails. So you have to choose if you're okay with that for this process. And you click allow. What will happen now is you won't have to put your password in every time that you want to send out an email, which is really great because we used to have to do that. You will get this warning pop up that tells you you have successfully completed the setup. You can turn off your access to less secure apps setting in your web mail account if applicable. We recommend you change your web mail password for more information. Click here. So what this is doing is you don't need to use your applications anymore. You can choose to get rid of that if you don't want it, as long as you're willing to let them have full account access and you knew your Intuit ID number. So then you just click OK. Then you go in and say you're inside of your invoice and you want to send out an email. Let's pick an email to send. Click on invoice, type in the email address that you just created is automatically going to populate. You have to have your customer's email in there. If it's inside of your customer, it's going to populate and you're going to go ahead and click send. If you want carbon copy or blind carbon copy, you can check mark these here and send it and look sent successfully. I have closed my computer, tried it in a different couple different things, open it up other company files, come back in. And every time I'm still allowed to send my email without having to put in an extra password. Now, if you don't want to allow them to authorize it, then what you're going to do is if you're here and you're going to edit it, you can take your 
enhanced security off, but you're going to have to put your password in every time and use the application. I will put the link up above and down below so you can watch my previous video on how to create an application. If you guys enjoy this tip, don't forget to subscribe. If you need help with QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence with QuickBooks, my online course that takes you from the beginning to the end. If you're a brand new user or you've been trying to figure out QuickBooks, but you've really been struggling trying to do it on your own, the course does come with support so you can ask me questions and I answer them inside of the course as well as if you enjoyed this tip and you'd like to receive them in your inbox, feel free to go up above or down below and join with your email and I'll send them directly to you. And if you need help cleaning up your QuickBooks or fixing something and you want more of a private session, you don't need the full course, feel free to check out up above or down below. I'll have a link for my private sessions. Have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tip. Bye-bye.